Hi guys, I'm back. I'm feeling better. So great. My throat's perfect. And I know it wasn't that long ago since I posted my I'm sick video, but I filmed that on Sunday and I was feeling so bad that I couldn't even edit it until Tuesday. So yes, quite, quite some time has passed since I was very sick, but I'm great now. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling lucky. Mexican lucky. Mexican lucky. Mexican lucky. I know it's not Mexican lucky, but that, that that's how it sounds like. Today, I present to you my July wrap-up. The first book I read this month was Random Acts of Crazy by someone. I did not finish with it, um, which was a huge disappointment because I started with it and I was really enjoying it, but it just got bad, bad, bad and just nah, unbearable. So I will be having up a mini, mini review of it later in the month, in August. August. Then I read Star Glass by Phoebe North for The Blocked War and um, I have to say that the character development and the world building was done so, so well. So it was great to just read the story and just good job Phoebe North, good job on that. I made a written review on my blog so you will find a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Next the book a thon started and I read Tiger's Quest, what? Tiger's Curse by Clean Hauk. I started this and it wasn't that bad and uh, mm, yeah, it had some good things but it also had a lot of bad things and when I finished I was just, I couldn't decide if I had actually liked it or not and I gave it a lot of thought. I spent a couple of days just meditating about it and thinking, did I like it? Did I really like it? Until I came to the conclusion that no, I did not like it. Not really, not at all. And I made a review of it. If you want to check it out, you can click here, a video review, and it will take you to it. So yeah, click it, click it, click it, yeah. I really wanted to like it. I tried to connect with Kelsey, but uh, no, I just could, could not do it. But I was willing to keep trying and see if the series would improve. So I continued with Tiger's Quest by Colleen Hauk. This book was the big, big, big no. I didn't even finish it, it was just bleh. I also made a video review of it if you want to check it out so you can see in more detail why I didn't like and it just is, is, is. It was just really bad. And after those two books, the readathon ended and I was just so sick of books and I didn't want to read anything else because I was so sad and disappointed and like, uh, frustrated. So I took a two day reading break in which I watched Grey's Anatomy season one. Oh my god, I love that show. And after that, I was ready to get back to reading again. So I thought I would get some, pick something short that I would most likely enjoy to just get me back in the mood of books, of reading, you know? And I picked The Perks of Being a Wildflower by Stephen Chavosky. I had not read it before, but I loved, loved the movie. I don't, it's the one movie that always makes me cry. Always. And I just thought it was the right moment to read the book. I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars and I'm just so amazed at the job the author did at making, translating the book into a movie. He did an amazing job. Tr the book, this, the, the, I loved how he was not afraid to just change things or take stuff out to translate the book into an excellent movie. Because that's how movie adaptations should be done. You shouldn't try to just copy the book into the movie, you know, like, huh? Because a movie can be done exactly line per line, shot by shot, as the book is, and it's no guarantee that it's going to be a good movie. So good job, Stephen Shavosky. I hope that's how you pronounce your name, but Jesus Christ, you did a great job with that movie. I do not think that the book and the movie can actually be compared because they are they are very different in many aspects. Ugh. But I would dare say that I enjoy the movie a lot more. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if I would reread the book, but I can watch the movie forever and ever and ever. When I finished with the book, I was just feeling like sort of sad, uh, but it was a hopeful kind of sad. The kind of sad that just takes time. The movie always makes me cry, but it's always like a happy, a hopeful tears, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> yes. I wrote a review for this one on Goodreads, but I will not be making it a video review because I was very honest and um, I made my review really personal. So um, yes, I talked a lot of, about a lot of heavy stuff that happens in the book and um, how I related to Charlie's story in ways I wish I, nobody could relate actually. But um, yeah, so I don't have the heart or the strength to actually make it a video review. But if you would like to check it out, you will find a link to the review in the description, but no video, sorry. And last, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. 
which I started reading in June, I think, and I got more than halfway through, but then I had to put it down to read some books for review and the book a thon and I decided to pick it up again. But I tried to continue, and I had already forgotten some stuff. Unbelievable. So I decided to start it all over again and just, you know, get through it, all of it, all of it at once. And it was so good! Five stars! It earned every single one of them. And I was so confused and like, I didn't know who to trust at many points in the story. It actually came to a point where I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm not even gonna try to guess anymore, I'm just gonna let the book surprise me. And it did! I will most definitely be making a video review for this one because I want to discuss it with you guys because it's good and I want you to read it. It has a lot of cliche alien stuff, I mean, it starts off as the normal apocalyptic alien story, but it does have a lot of elements that set it apart the further you get into the story and um, I'm gonna shut up now and save all of that for my review, so be on the lookout for that one. And that's it! That's what I read this month. Let me know what you read this month, and also if you participated in the booktube a -thon, if you did, let me know if you have a video wrap-up up, if you completed the challenges, what did you read? And if not, just let me know what you read during the month. Also, if you've read any of the books I mentioned, and if you liked them or if you didn't like them. That's it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!